And that just means that rather than really pushing into those top notes, she's just kind of allowing them. I wouldn't be surprised if whistle register is really easy for a singer like this. So who knows? A lot of people have been suggesting that I watch videos that unbeknownst to me have whistle register in them. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's where this is going. What up guys? It's your boy, Matt Ramsey from RamseyVoice.com. And I'm a real singing teacher, vocal coach, performer, reactor, I don't even know if that's right. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a professional reactor, just a, a part-time reactor with, a, with big dreams. And so today, guys, we are continuing our tour through Asia with another reaction to an Asian singer, and her name is Zhao Yun Huang. I think I got it right. And she has a phenomenal song, called Left Hand Pointed to the Moon, which one thing that I'm really getting out of a lot of like these Asian reaction videos is that the, the poetry and the lyrics in these Asian singers, it's amazing. I've really, really been impressed with just how visual and how much imagery gets used in these guys. Now, before we jump into the reaction, you know what you have to do. You gotta like, you gotta subscribe, you gotta comment with the next song that you wanna see me react to, turn on notifications, all that stuff. And with that said, let us begin our segment of high note, low note, the segment in the show where I'm going to take a moment and pick out a random positive comment and a random negative comment, and uh, we'll see what the actual reaction is. Let's see. Chat Centric writes, thanks for appreciating Maury's raw talents. By the way, I guess this is your first time reacting to Filipino raw talent. Uh, of course, accepting Bruno Mars, a half Filipino. I didn't know that. I thought Bruno was Hawaiian or something like that. Among Asians, Filipino singers excel and myriads of them are now showcased in social media and you missed them. <laughs> Raw talents in the sense that 99% are self-taught. They're not trained by vocal coaches. Not that they don't need them, but it's costly to hire one. Absolutely. Filipinos rely on their God-given talents and started it on a very young age by just hearing the song and keep practicing on their own. They enter different singing competitions until they reach celebrity status. Every nook and cranny in the Philippines you'll find karaoke machines. We call it videoki. Almost every home, bars, clubs, beer houses, restaurants, customers are belting their hearts out. Chad, thank you for the primer on Filipino culture. It is really, really cool to see. You know, I am a vocal coach, so I'm a little partial and say that everyone should work with a vocal coach at some point or take some great online singing lessons. By the way, you can check out my complete singing course, Master Your Voice. Enrollment's about to open again. Okay, and for our low note today, we've got one from Santel, Santelha. I guess Santa did not come early this year. Santela said, oh my God, so annoying. Do you need to interrupt every eight seconds? Yes, I do, Santela, because I'm a vocal coach and this is a reaction video. If you wanna just listen to the music, you should just play it on Spotify. Okay, with that said, let's jump into this fantastic reaction to Zhao Yun Huang performing Left Hand Pointed to the Sky. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I just had to translate it, and hopefully that's somewhat <laughs> close. Guys, stick around to make sure that this is actually a five-star performance. I get a good feeling about this because one of my fantastic students turned me onto this and said it's gonna be a great one, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. Here we go. That's like from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the, the hard spot. Oh, J.J. Lin's there. I love J.J. Lin. Deep focus. Everything rides on this. J.J. looks bored. Wow. Good. Now, before we jump in, you guys know, and you're going to be so mad at me, but 
you know I have to stop after a couple of lines and just give my baseline impressions of what the singer's doing so far. One of the things that I find really interesting about this performance is there's something about it that like the melody or the like the performance of it just seems like more of kind of like a traditional Chinese kind of sound. And I really don't know. I mean, she could be Singaporean. She could be from Hong Kong. I have no idea. So I'm just saying Chinese. It sounds more of the kind of like Far East Asian kind of sound. Like that kind of like those little interval jumps there. That seems really common in some of the kind of Chinese music that I've heard. So I'm finding that kind of interesting, but at the same time, it's done with this very, very like modern kind of like sound bed, like this very, very modern pop kind of sound. So this one almost seems like it's like a crossover between like Chinese classical and like this modern pop stuff. And I think it sounds super cool. What I like about what she's doing so far, even though we can't see her, she's still in the triangle. (laughs) We cannot see her yet. But what I like about the sound of her voice so far is that she's got a really easy touch on it, but it's not all that breathy. It's not da 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 da. Like this American sound that like all these singers are obsessed with now is like, it's like a battle of the breath. You know, it's like, how breathy can you be? But listen back to uh, Wa uh, Zhao. There's some real actual, there's some real sound there and she's just keeping it a very low dynamic and that's very different from just like being overly breathy. Good mix. A flat. Yeah, she deserves it. So we've got an A flat five that she's holding for quite a while. And then she goes up to the B five, just flat of, uh, not flat as in like it's bad, but just shy of the soprano C6. And she's in her very, very high head voice up here. Just a very beautiful soprano lofty voice. You can also tell that she's not like really pounding into those notes. She's just kind of allowing them up there. And for a voice like this, that is, I'm gonna say it's small, even though I don't mean that it's like, she can't make a lot of sound or anything like that. I literally mean that her vocal cords are probably really, really tiny. And that's why she can get them to vibrate so fast. And you'll find that with most soprano singers, they'll either have like a very, very kind of like short vocal track, the distance from their vocal cords to their lips, or the size of their vocal cords themselves are very small or both. And that just means that rather than, really pushing into those top notes. She's just kind of allowing them. I wouldn't be surprised if whistle register is really easy for a singer like this. So who knows? A lot of people have been suggesting that I watch videos that unbeknownst to me have whistle register in them. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's where this is going. I'm going to back it up a sec. Yeah, that's almost like a Western classical. The very, very like lofty vibrato. It's very wide, but very beautiful. Wow. Look at that intensity. Yeah. Though the crazy thing is that A flat then, she Like that note just does not sound difficult for her at all. And that's actually an A flat. And that's a very difficult note for a lot of soprano singers because it's right on the edge of what they can do in their chest voice. For her, she's choosing to go with kind of like an easier chest voice. She's not like going all the way up to her head voice yet, but she doesn't even make it sound difficult at all. So I am amazed. Yeah. That's our first belt so far. Yeah, a B flat. I don't even know what the vowel is, but what she's singing is an A ah. vowel. Somewhere in between an A ah and an A, ah. and that's helping her really belt beautifully into that note. Let's see where she goes from there. Now she's 
she's in a full mix, belting. Whoa, and you can actually tell that this is not pitch corrected because she had a little crack there and she came in a little bit flat on one of the notes and they didn't actually fix it or they just decided to leave it. But either way, it just sounds super cool, super real. JJ Lynn's impressed, I'm impressed. Look at this guy go. But it just sounds so emotional, nobody cares. It sounds awesome. Okay. Again, easy lofty head. B flat five. Woo! <laughs> JJ is shook, y'all. JJ is shook. Now, I'm gonna just, I downloaded this whole video. I wanna see if there's anything else interesting. <laughs> I recognize that riff. That's from Opera 2. Let's see. Cool, so she's singing up to an F6 there above the soprano high C6. So she's singing in her whistle register up there. And one of the things that you'll notice is that she starts from a more narrow vowel. Ooh, and then she starts to engage her whistle as she goes up on a more open vowel. And that's because it's very, very difficult to actually find whistle register on anything more than a very open vowel. So in this particular case, most of the time you'll see almost all whistle register happens on a very open, like an ah sound, or like even if the vowel that they're trying to sing is O, oh, it'll come out as an ah because you have to drop your jaw so much because you're so high. And that's the only way that you can start to kind of even relax your larynx a little bit. Let's watch that again. Yeah. Oh. There's so much control. There's so much control in that sound. Man, I'm so glad that I fast forwarded a little bit. One of the things that I want to point out about whistle is people talk a lot about whistle register needing to sound really full or they want theirs to sound more full. Now, I want to just set the record straight on this for a second that whistle register oftentimes is accompanied by a little bit of breathiness because basically what creates that sound is when the very front part of the vocal cords are vibrating and the back part is slightly open. I'm not talking about like all the way open, just like not touching as much. And you can actually hear a little bit of the breathiness in her whistle, even though it's a very nice sounding whistle. You hear that little of air in the background? that's because of the back part of the vocal cords. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel the same way, JJ. Oh my God. What a fantastic performance. Oh my gosh, this amazing, amazing singer. I'm gonna say that she's Chinese. Hopefully she's not like Singaporean because last time I said that JJ was Chinese and people got super mad at me. So Zhao Yun Huang, fantastic performance of the song left hand pointed to the pointed to the moon, not to the sky. It's gotta be a five out of five stars. This is an absolutely flawless performance. Fantastic singer. I can tell that it's not overly pitch corrected too, and I really like that. I think that it's a really dangerous thing that everybody's pitch correcting and auto correcting everything because then we don't even know what to expect out of our own voices. But for this particular singer, I'm seeing a lot of very, very beautiful stuff. Very high soprano singer. She can go up to those notes seemingly so effortlessly. And I really, really like to see that. What I'd love to see next time is maybe even like a song that has a little bit more of kind of a mixy kind of quality to it. There were a couple of belt notes that she had in here, but I'd love to see stuff that even hangs out more in the middle part of her voice that she can really get that kind of cool pop sound. But maybe that's not her style. Either way, fantastic performance. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure that you hit that like button comment with the next song that you want to see me react to. Subscribe, turn on notifications for this channel. And don't forget, if we make it to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to upload my very favorite recording of me singing my favorite Chinese song. So I can't wait to record that for you guys. So I hope to see you all soon. Bye now.